What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video and we are here today to learn how to build this excellent little Victorian age greenhouse uh, using pretty much nothing besides this build palette which will fit nicely in your inventory. Uh, it's pretty simple and it should only take a few minutes to do it. So let's get started. Okay. To start off our build, we're going to go ahead and grab all of our blocks. And step one, uh, I'm just building this off of this frame. You can build it separate or connect it to a house, uh, but you want the base to be this far apart. So you want wall, space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another wall. So that's nine, seven blocks in between these. Then you're gonna bring it out, two, put a space, two, space, two, and that looks good. And then continue the same thing off of this side. Just like that. Putting a block every two spaces. Then, so these are where the ribs are going to come off of. You're going to pull this up four blocks. total in height and you're going to take your green glass right here and you're going to go up three copy the same on this side And then you're going to pull everything in one block, go up one in one more up two That's not right. Up one, up two. Okay. Then fill in a line here, here. And you're going to do two lines right here. Same on the other side. And then in one for everything. Then you can go up two more. and connect nope hold on something's not right here there it is okay Walls are kind of annoying because they're sometimes hard to place the blocks that you want on them. Pull it in 
last row of glass right here. And then you're just gonna fill in with enough space to leave for a doorway. Just like that. Boom, that's the basic framework. Now you wanna take your stairs and place them down. If you have anything like a slab, it won't connect and it won't look right. So the easiest way to do this is to just place just like that and then rotate around and come back the other way, placing them down. Do the same on the other side. And then up here, one more time. Now for, well, one more here. Uh, get out of my way, boom. Okay, now what I like to do for the end is to bring this up one more, place a block like that. Nope, that's not right. Just like that. And then you get this little extra curve that comes up. And then you're gonna pull off two, and then two more and then get yourself a lantern. Pop it right under here. And boom, that is the entire framework for the build. And I forgot this one. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, now, I'm gonna come in here and I'm using coarse dirt for this, uh, but you can use any kind of dirt that you would like. Fill in the back wall and then take your spruce trap doors. This is just my personal uh, choice for trap doors. I like the little iron bars that are on it. It seems to give it more of a planter kind of shape and design. Close all of these up. Um, and you can do however design you want. I like to break it up, have like two smaller ones and then a big one. You can have four smaller ones, any size you want. Um, and then here is the point where you want to decide uh, what kind of aesthetic you're going for, for, get, get out of here, stop eating my grass, get, 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 uh, are you going for more of a overrun kind of look, or are you going for something more in use, um, if you're going for in use, you just want to go ahead and grab, uh, any flowers, and plants and fill up this whole area. Um, but what I want to do is go for more of a rundown look personally. So change out the grass. Uh, I like to use this podzol. It looks a little more of like kind of dead grass color you could also just use more coarse dirt. And then you're going to want to take leaves and pick a few spots where they're going to come up from. And then from there, just pull leaves up out. Just like that.
nice and easy. Just, uh, you don't want it to be too clustered up, but you just want a nice kind of healthy amount of overrunness. Um, you can take some of these out, have them spilling out the side like that. Then I'd like to take some dead bushes, plant them down. And then another good choice is the wither flower. We'll add a little different color to the area. And then boom. And then you can also accent throwing some uh, flower pots down just for some extra detail. And you have a pretty nice garden. Also, I forgot you want to wrap this around here. Can't believe I did that. Pull this up and then bring that up to there. And then that's the outside frame. Um, it's the best that I could think of to do like the wire that would normally be in like an old pane of glass. Um, another step you can do, I couldn't decide between which one I like. Um, the walls themselves are nice because they're thinner but what you can also do is on these end caps, throw some stairs and it will kind of change up the feel of it a little bit, gives more detail, but makes it also at the same time a little thicker, just like that. And it, it changes it up a lot. Um, I, I honestly can't decide which one I like more um, but the final piece of detail, what you want to do is knock out some glass and have the plants kind of overtaking the outside. Uh, this would also be a good place to use some vines. Um, have it spilling out over here. Throwing up the side here. It's just a little extra piece of detail that you can take. Especially for the uh, the overrun version. And then just hit the outside with some tall grass. Probably cut out some of the flowers. Uh, one or two. Like the dandelions are good. For like an unkempt yard you can put also any kind of door in here i couldn't really find a door that super matched well uh with the aesthetic or the other thing you could do is not have a door out there and you well got rid of my door you could throw the door into the house other way and then you have a little door from your little sitting room and for those of you who are in the minecraft 1.16 update one little great piece of detail you can do is they've added these chains which you can throw in a pot from and you can have little hanging flower pots that I think add one more really good layer of detail to this build. I really hope you enjoyed this video about the Victorian greenhouse. Um, I mostly made this because while well, looking for a good greenhouse, I couldn't really find anything that kind of more fit this aesthetic. Um, so if there's anything else you would like to see me build that 
you really haven't seen, uh, let me know down in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.